Hey, Quincy, it's Thomas, man. Hey, I just want to make sure I give a nice little recap of what, how much you've done this year in 2022, man. I mean, karma, my God, that right there, the music in it, each one of your movies have a message to it. It's easily to understand the camera angles in, in any of your movies. The first movie I did this year was entitled Kevin. It was entered into the Louisiana Film Prize. I didn't win, but I didn't lose either. It was a lesson, but the movie was about a guy who in his up-to-date life was doing well, had had a son. He had robbed somebody years ago prior to him having his son, and um, the guy kind of wanted retribution. His son was like two years old, so it was two years prior. And um, when the guy caught him, and he could have killed him. Yo, what's up? This your boy A-Wax with the Lunch of Blood Show. Man, and listen here, we're doing a 22 recap with my boy Night Legend. And you know I got to shout him out real big, real big. Hey, man, much love to him. He stopped by the show this year, blessed us with his presence. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, he put us in his new film, Kelvin. Hey, man, it's a real good show, man. It's going to be a pretty good film. So, you know, I want to say, hey, man, big ups to my boy Night Legend. And uh, keep doing your thing, my boy. We'll see you next year, 2023. Peace. His son was there with him, so the guy, you know, he didn't kill him. And later on, the guy that wanted retribution, he would get shot, but he didn't die. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've been living in Japan for like, what, 10 years now. And um, I had went back to, you know, visit home, Charlotte, New York or whatever. So I stopped through Charlotte and I got a chance to link up with the homie Q. Um, yeah, man, it was it was good to link up with him. I haven't seen him in like I don't know how many years, but it was really dope to um uh, you know, spend spend some time with him. Um I've been watching his movements online. Um, you know, it's the, the, the most impressive thing I would say about Q is just the consistency, you know what I'm saying? What, whatever he's doing, whether it's music, film, um, whatever it is, the homie stays consistent, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, from just this last year alone, you know, dropping three movies, um, well, a couple of short films, one feature film, and... um having a few sh- uh, short films that were entered in film contests, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that, that's, that's that's just an example of the consistency that I see from Q. Um, and, and and it's really dope to see. It's, it's inspiring. And, yeah, man, I, I wish the brother nothing but success in, in 2023 and beyond. I remember when I first met the the ninth legend. It was back in, I guess, early 2000s. And uh, I could see it when I first met him, he was very serious. I know, so I know he was a soldier. I just kind of thought, well, maybe, well, I wasn't quite sure because he, he, he had that look in his eye, a good soldier. But I thought, well, maybe he, uh, you know, in the streets, you know, because he, the way he handled himself, like he knew how to handle himself. But anyway, then uh, he said, he, you know, found out he was in the music day and he came down to H&H at the club and did a show. And then I said, wow. And I may have had his music before that, but the thing was, he was very conscious, you know. I mean, a lot of these cats are in the music business game, whatever, to blow up like Nitro. They want to make some fast money, you know, or think it's money, money. But he was had a very conscious to his music that was pretty cool, you know. But I knew that maybe it wasn't for this area <laughs> because these people are some other stuff. They His music was like some good, real hip-hop, you know, conscious lyrics. And- Yo, what's up? It's Trillis Bliss. Showing love to the homie Ninth Legend. Really appreciative and a big fan of his work. He's always um, 
showing the documentary world and the movie world, you know, what is real life. And uh, it's not really scripted. It's it's it, it's it's all really to the heart. You know what I mean? Um, my favorite films is Kevin and the Big Daddy Chicken Patty. Probably two of my favorite joints, but, you know, I'm a big fan of all his work. Hope he keeps at it, keeps working hard and showing the world that black people really put in work in the film, inside the film industry, too, you know what I mean? And uh, portray the black culture the way it's supposed to be and the real way we we all live life, you know? Keep doing your thing, brother. Big fan. Peace. Good jazzy music. I mean, it was really good. So anyway, then I found out um, when he did his videos, he started making videos. And like, man, this man had talent for videos. I mean, he was very, 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 very talented. It's like, wow. It's like, wow. And then I remember uh, Dan Gardner. Down at Tipitino's, he worked with Dan down there, and wow, they he had started making some great videos. I was like, man, you your videos are like, you know, and this was back 2001 and two or whatever, three, four, back in those days, maybe five, six, seven, you know. I did a movie called Immutable, which means not to change. It was about a woman who had two daughters, and they both had two different fathers. And they were both alcoholics, so, you know, their relationship with the mother broke up. And one of the daughters had a boyfriend that, you know, grew up with them, childhood friend. And, you know, they were dating now that they were older. And um, he was an alcoholic because his mother died. And the other sister had a boyfriend, and he was just an alcoholic. They were in a verbally abusive relationship, always arguing back and forth, stuff like that. What's happening, family? It's your brother, Buddha Ali of Zone 24 TV. Hustlers Never Sleep, Buddha Hype Promotion, man. Also representing that True West Radio and Docs Entertainment. And, you know, we come all the way from the West Coast to Oklahoma, Texas. If you don't know what that is, that's Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma, man. Right here in the middle passage of the Dirty South. Better known as the Chitlin' Circuit, man. And I'm here to talk about my man, Night Legend. I'm one for a guy, man. Been putting these movies down for a minute. He's a super-duper artist, man. But this man is a master of short films. And uh, small film cinemas, man, this man will keep you on the edge of your chair. And he always leaves you with a good message, man. He works with people in the community and helps them out as well. Um, you might see somebody in the neighborhood off of the movie. You know, he puts them in there and he gives everybody a script. He got some scripts for me coming up in some of his short films, so y'all be on the lookout for that too. Let me go and squeeze that in there, your boy. But anyway, uh, check out the man, Night Legend, man. Night Creation Productions, he got, you know, uh, Kevin, the movie just, just dropped. It was very, very strong movie with uh, talking about the common, the community, and then Immutable, talking about, you know what I'm saying, how we medicate ourselves, and it can lead to danger, or it can help us out, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and when we do these things, you know, it, it, it helps, and it also hurts people at the same time. But he always has a message in his movie, man. That's why I've been dealing with him. Name legend, man. He's one of a kind. He would come get her, and they get in the car wreck because he came there drunk. And the other one would go to church and embarrass the girl. And it was kind of like after that, she took him back. And the mother's like, "She's not going to change. She's not hearing me. Like he's steady making a fool out of her, and she's staying with him. You know, just trying to put a message out there." The Ninth legend, and how he. I guess the greatest thing about his work and him as a person is that his movies that he makes, and I see he's really concentrates on the content and not embellishing even the characters, everyday people. You know, he gets everyday people in his movies and he's not trying to embellish them. You know, he don't need uh, Holly Berry to make this, you know, make the script work or whatever, because I think he's looking at more of his, the situation, and it's real every day, it's right there in the community happening with, and his actors are like right there, community people.
that's just showing how the dynamic works, you know, without embellishing with all the, you know, the poof lie and the yeah, yeah, yeah. His storyline, I think, is the greatest thing, you know, as well as his approach to keeping it 100 and real. I did a feature film called The Big Daddy Chicken Patty. It was about a smooth talking brother who had women, had a good girl at home. She was loyal to him, but he was running women. And um, he had a daughter. She, you know, she got a boyfriend. And um, the boyfriend broke her heart, his daughter. And when that happened, he couldn't take it. So in other words, he taught him a lesson. If you can't take it, don't dish it. Well, uh, I was talking to uh, Ninth about wanting to work with him with some different projects. And uh, he got to coming up with these ideas, or these crazy ideas. And he was like, hey, can you film a scene? And I said, yeah. So he said, can you film a scene and can you send it to me? And I was like, well, yeah, I can do that. So I filmed the scene and I sent it to him. Well, he liked the scene and he asked me for more. And he's like, hey, can you, what about this scene? What about that scene? What about this scene? So as, uh, as time progressed, I was doing all these scenes or whatever. And I, I didn't really know how they were going to fit into the film, if they were going to be able to seamlessly transition or if, you know, there was going to be kind of a, a lag or, or it was going to look weird because it was this setting as opposed to that setting and that kind of thing. But, uh, it all worked out, man. I, uh, I was really surprised when I saw the final product. I thought it looked really good. I thought it, it looked like we shot it on location. Like it looked like it was all part of the film, which was awesome. Uh, I look forward to working with him in the future. I can't wait to possibly do something in 2023. Uh, we talked about possibly doing a heist film, which is pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing what other creativity he comes up with because, uh, I think he's got some, some really special things in the works. I know he's going to do something for the film prize this year that's going to be pretty spectacular. Big Daddy Chicken Patty. My first reaction to that was, what the hell is that? <laughs> so anyway, I watched it, man, and I remember just hearing the voiceovers for it. The minute I saw the trailer for it, dude, I was hooked. I was just like, I cannot wait to see this drop. No, you're not talking about the cold that work with your girl. I know I'm down bad. Man, that's crazy, yes, bro. Yes, it's a dangerous game, my brother. Man, you know I'm playing. Yo, you, yes, you're really wilding out this time, man. Pray for me, man. I don't believe that, bro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Mark D. Bunner. I want to give a shout out to Quincy and Night Boy Legend Edwards. Uh, I see the potential in your fam. I see the hustle. I see the grind. Uh, I can tell that you're hardworking and determined to be one of the best. You just have to keep doing what you're doing. And I hope that we can possibly collaborate in 2023. I'm Dr. Chris Lineberry, and I had the pleasure of working with Quincy when he was in 7th and 8th grade. I was a first-year administrator, and uh, Quincy and his buddies uh, helped break me in <laughs> to being an administrator. Quincy was always a very creative kid. Um, I remember distinctly he and his friends uh, having rap battles. Um, he was also very athletic um, and a kind kid. Uh, and to watch you kind of turn into the young man that you are and, and see the work that you're doing is really impressive. So uh, Quincy, you've made an impact on my life. Uh, and helped me to become not only a better administrator, but also a, a better person. And uh, I'm very proud of you and proud of the work that you're doing. So Quincy, ninth legend, I just want to say two words for just hearing all the content you've been putting out, whether it be music or movies, man, two words. Thank you. Thank you very much.